welcome to the May 2018 Ball State University Nursing Pinning Ceremony. Good evening. This is an exciting evening for all of us. My name is Cheryl Rowitis. I'm the president of the Ball State University Nursing Alumni Society and a practicing critical care transport nurse at IU Health Lifeline in Richmond, Indiana, and also a nurse practitioner at MedExpress in Muncie. Before we recognize the graduates on stage, I have the honor of introducing our distinguished guest on the podium. Please hold your applause until all are introduced. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing until all are recognized. It's our pleasure tonight to have Dr. Anthony Mahon, Associate Dean for Scholarship and Faculty, the College of Health, Dean's Office, Ball State University. Dr. Linda Sitberg, Director of the Ball State University School of Nursing. Sue Taylor, Ball State University Alumni, Director of Collegiate Reunion and Affinity Groups, Strategic Engagement and Communications. Jessica Duncan, Faculty, Ball State University School of Nursing and a Ball State Nursing Alumni Society member, and she's also a class sponsor. Delisa Flynn, faculty, Ball State University School of Nursing and Ball State Nursing Alumni Society member. She's also our guest speaker tonight and a class advisor. Melissa Matthews, faculty, Ball State University School of Nursing and Ball State Nursing Alumni member. Sherilyn Bennett, IU Health Ball Memorial Hospital, manager of the East Central Region for Quality, Safety, and Infection Prevention, and a member of the Ball State Nursing Alumni Society. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to our distinguished guests. Just a reminder tonight, if you would like pictures, we're gonna ask that you take them for the audience because we would like to have all of our uh, graduates seen tonight by their family. Now we will have a special welcome by Sue Taylor, Ball State University Alumni Director of Collegiate Reunion and Affinity Groups, Strategic Engage Engagement and Communications. Thank you, good evening. It is my pleasure to be with you this evening for this very special event and to bring greetings from the Ball State University Alumni Association. This will be your connection to the university going forward from today and tomorrow. By being a graduate, it means that you also are automatically a member of the Ball State Alumni, Nursing Alumni Society, and we will look forward to seeing what you do and hearing more from you as the years progress. Nurses, you are among our nation's best and brightest. We're very proud of you. With your degree, you join the ranks of more than 190,000 alumni across the world. Tonight's pinning ceremony honors you for having completed a most difficult program one that prepares you very well for your profession. Although the journey to this destination was filled with challenges, you've studied, sacrificed, and persevered to achieve your goals. All of the challenges have made you stronger and will help you be a better nurse and professional. As a graduate, you automatically, oh, I already told you that, are a member of the Nursing Alumni Society. Sorry to be repetitious. And um, I wanted to introduce, but we've already mentioned that too, that there are several members of that Nursing Alumni Society board here with you this evening. And these people, along with your faculty, are the ones who help put together an event like this and several other things throughout the year to keep you connected to the university and just be able to honor you. One of the other things that they do is provide a um, nursing a awards banquet every spring. And we're gonna look forward to seeing again what you will be doing with your career and maybe getting an award yourself at one of these events. It's also a great time to reconnect with your classmates and to have some social fun together after you've spread out in all the ways that you're going. 
As you enter the working world, we ask that you embrace the Ball State traditions of leadership, dedication, and service, and offer support to students who will follow in your steps. Stay in touch with us, let us know where you live, and participate in programs that will not only enhance your career, but just help you relax, and also stay in touch with your classmates. Remember your classmates, your mentors, your instructors, and all of those who've made your student experience so special. And consider ways to pay this forward to the students who will follow you. Again, congratulations and best wishes to each of you as you enter this exciting next phase of life. Thank you, Sue. The invocation tonight will be given by Jackie Farrand, Secretary of the Graduating Class. At this time, if you so choose, please join me in a moment of prayer in honor of this joyous graduation of the nursing class of 2018. Let us dedicate our lives today in the care of those who come our way. Let us touch each one with a healing hand and the gentle art for which we stand. And then tonight, when the day is done, let us rest in peace if we've helped just one. Thank you, Jackie. I would like to introduce our guest speaker for this evening, Delisa Flynn, faculty member, Ball State University School of Nursing, Ball State Nursing Alumni Society member and the class advisor. Good evening, family, friends, and graduates. It is my honor to share in this evening with all of you. The pinning ceremony is a time-honored tradition and is the culmination of your hard work and commitment to our nursing profession. It was not too long ago that I was sitting right where you are. Maybe a little bit longer than I'd wanna admit, but I understand the journey you've been on and I'm, you should be very proud of yourselves. You've spent the last few years endlessly reading, studying, taking tests, quizzes, and completing hundreds hours of clinical. You finally made it. What an exciting time for you and all of your family. Sitting here tonight, you must be wondering what's next. Next, you will start yet another transition in your life. The transition from student nurse to registered nurse. I have some advice to help guide you on this new adventure. First, be patient. Most importantly, be patient with yourself. This transition will be very challenging. I remember two weeks after I passed my NCLEX exam. I was in a patient's bathroom and I heard the patient care tech say to the patient, I'm not sure, I'm gonna ask your nurse. I thought to myself, oh no, that's me. I'm gonna have to give them an answer. I'm responsible for this patient. So I was able to meet my patient's needs and respond to their questions, but this moment made me realize that I'm the RN and not a student anymore. My instructors were all back at Cooper teaching class. Find your mentors. This is gonna help you learn and grow into the nurse that you wanna become. Find someone who's gonna be honest with you. They should compliment a job well done and also give you constructive comments in ways to improve. Think back to your clinical experiences that you've had and remember what kind of nurses you like to be paired with. Be the nurse you enjoyed and take pride in this. There will be coworkers you connect with and others that you do not. Try not to get caught up in the workplace drama, but stand up what you're passionate about. Never forget the reason you are there to care and make a difference in patients' and families' lives. Understand what you know. You've spent countless hours learning here at Ball State, but nursing school is just the foundation to your nursing career. 
Think about Nursing 220 and how far you all have come from that day. Continue to ask questions when you're unsure and don't feel bad about it. How many times have you heard me say in lecture, there are no stupid questions? This is true because you're always learning. You may need to ask the questions more than once, so be patient with yourself. Your concern is to keep your patients safe. Find your special place. Nursing is so amazing because there's so many different choices. There's so many different types of nursing and so many different places to practice. It may take a couple years to figure out what you really like, what you're passionate about, but when you choose the nursing specialty that's gonna be your special place, you will learn so much more than you can ever imagine. Professional nursing organizations eagerly await your arrival. There you will find the knowledge, strength, and power to fuel your passion and keep you excited about nursing. Take time for yourself. Nurses are never good patients. So it only take, makes sense to take care of ourselves in the process. You have just completed a very, very challenging nursing program. I know over the past few years, you've had no free time. Your time consisted of reading, studying, reading, and studying some more. So don't start your new job and pick up every available hour of overtime. Take time to enjoy the journey and also take time with your family. They have missed you. Take time for yourself. If you aren't well, how are you gonna take care of others? Acknowledge your feelings. I suspect you're all a little nervous, possibly anxious, maybe even a little bit scared. These are all normal feelings for a new nursing graduate. You never feel totally ready, but you definitely are. During this transition, it's all right to be excited, eager to learn, expect the best of yourself, feel frustrated, challenged, and it's even acceptable to cry sometimes. Remember though, you must embrace the good moments and minimize the bad ones. Those good moments will keep you energized and coming back for that next shift. One final thought, you have an outstanding foundation you have a Ball State Nursing Foundation. You are ready for wherever your career path is gonna lead you. So a year from now, I want you to reflect back on your nursing journey and really look at that transition from student nurse to registered nurse. You will be amazed at what you have accomplished. Nursing does come with its challenges, but to see a patient smile and thank you for being there and their time of need is priceless. You could have not picked a more rewarding career. Congratulations on your accomplishments. You've certainly all earned them. I say goodbye to you as nursing students and welcome you as my nursing colleagues. Thank you. Thank you, Delisa. Next, we have the class pledge, which will be led by Sarah Merzen, Vice President, and Sydney Cooper, Treasurer of the May 2018 Ball State University Baccalaureate Nursing Class. Classmates, will you please stand? I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to care for the sick with all the skill and understanding I possess without regard to race, creed, color, politics, or social status, sparing no effort to conserve life, to alleviate suffering, and to promote health. I will respect at all times the dignity and religious beliefs of the patients under my care, holding in confidence all personal information entrusted to me, 
and refraining from any action which might endanger life or health. I will endeavor to keep my professional knowledge and skill at the highest level and to give loyal support and cooperation to all members of the health team. I will do my utmost to honor the International Code of Ethics, apply to nursing, and to uphold the integrity of the nurse. Thank you, Sarah and Sydney. You may please be seated. Now the moment for which these graduates have worked so dil diligently has finally ar arrived. Tonight, Jessica Duncan, May 2018 class advisor, will present the names of the graduates. Dr. Linda Sitberg, director of the Ball State University School of Nursing, will present the pins. Gifts of scissors and carnations are from the Ball State Nursing Alumni Society and will be presented by Sherilyn Bennett and Melissa Matthews. The class officers please stand. Tyler Richard Hostetler, and he will be pinned by his sister, Allison Pinion, graduate of the May 2015. <laughs> Sarah Caitlin Merzen. Jackie Marie Farron. Sydney Cooper. Tess Marie Lemon. You may be seated. Amy A. Arkenal. Jacob Michael Ashley. Bailey Christine Balmer. Amy Marie Beckwith. <laughs> Anana Cloudana Berger. Jennifer Diane Barabee. Morgan Ann Bowman. Madison Nicole Bowling. Shelby Lauren Bolas. Hannah M. Brindle. Kendall Page Bryant, and she will be penned by her aunts, Gina Coers, 
graduate of the May 1979, and Betsy Finnig, graduate of August 1986. Emily Ann Carter. Lindsay Marie Castleman, and she will be pinned by her sister, Kayla Castleman, graduate of May 2013. Brooke Aaron Cresson. Ashley Nicole Criswell. Mackenzie Joe DeHaven. Courtney Brenna DeReamer. You may be seated. Corinne Elizabeth Dunn. Elena Diane Ebert. Valerie Nicole Eddy. Taylor Nicole Few. Hannah Sue Fowler. Taylor Nicole Franks. Megan Elizabeth Goldsmith. <laughs> Mackenzie L. Gratney. Michelle Carissa Gutierrez. Caitlin. Ruby Haney, and she will be pinned by her grandmother, Cleo Hanley, a graduate of 1954. Harmon <laughs> Hannah Nicole Harp <laughs> Summer Lorraine Harvey and she will be pinned by her sister Shelby Bumgardner graduate of May 2013 Aaron Athel Hoeing. <laughs> Kayla Ray Ish. Aaron Michelle Jenkins. Erica Christine Judy.
You may be seated. Anna L. Colleg. Hannah Elise Kane. Mm -hmm. Morgan Elizabeth Kuntz. Allison Lynn Matera, and she will be penned by her brother, Lucas Eustick, a graduate of December 2016. Samantha Renee McNew. Janelle Dawn Miller. Taylor Ann Mills. Sydney M. Norris. Love you, <laughs> Katie Marie Overly. Jamie Lynn Parsons. And she will be pinned by her mother, Jenny Parsons, a graduate of May 1990. Andrea Marie Ponica. Sydney Nicole Pfeiffer. Jacinda Nalani Hole. Jillian Ray Poplin. <laughs> Taylor Nicole Pratt. Kelsey Marie Rader. Petra Alexandra Ressler. You may be seated. Andrew W. Rogers. Melissa Renee Roop. Jesus M. Salinas. Morgan Ann Smalling. Janine Louise Smith. Sydney Nicole Snep. Jacob Robert Stebby. Alexis N. Stover.
Sabrina M. Stryker. Miranda N. Stuckwish. Angela Michelle Sutton. Mary Catherine Thompson. Lexis M. Watson. Shelby Marie Yo. Ashley Nicole Youngstaffel. Aubrey Alejandra Zarati. Alan J. Hafer. Please join me in graduating our in congratulating our graduates. This is the best part when we get to congratulate them. <laughs> now we're going to have some remarks from the class president. Um, this will be Tyler Hostetler of the May 2018 Ball State University Baccalaureate Nursing Class. Tyler. Good evening and thank you for all for coming to support us and celebrate all of us up here on stage tonight. Uh, I was going to ask to give another round of applause, but that was pretty big, so uh, you don't have to do it again. Um, but um, I'd like to or extend a special thank you and congratulations to my friend and classmate Alan Hafer for his um, commitment to our United States military. On behalf of this graduating class, I'd like to thank the faculty and staff of the Ball State University School of Nursing for their guidance and commitment to helping us achieve our goal of graduating with our BSNs. We could not, could not have done it without you, and we are thankful you pushed us academically so we can become safe nurses in the near future. We would also like to thank our family and friends for your continued support. I think the class would agree that these four years have been some of the most challenging of our lives. You remain supportive through the hysterical phone calls about test scores, our meltdowns when trying to learn new concepts, and our constant complaining about not wanting to do our never-ending care plans. We love and appreciate you more than you know. I would also regret not thanking maybe some of our biggest supporters. We would love to thank Bracken Library, Starbucks, Cousin Vinny's Pizza, and of course, Quizlet.com for helping us survive nursing school. We could not have done it without you, right? I love when people ask me what I was studying in school or my plans are after school. 
When I tell people I'm going to be a nurse, I get two different reactions. The first reaction is any variation of, oh wow, we need more male nurses. Or, I have always enjoyed my male nurses when I was in the hospital. <laughs> or my personal favorite, male nurses are great. They can help lift things and move patients more easily. <laughs> this one is of course my favorite because of the physical specimen you can all see that I am. <laughs> and that's a joke. Uh, the other reaction I get is, why don't you go all the way and become a doctor? Well, in 2017, the Gallup organization found the nursing profession to be the most ethical and the most honest profession in America for the 16th year in a row. The nursing profession has well over 100 career opportunities that fall under the scope of nursing. The nurse practitioner was ranked number four and registered nurse is ranked number 18 in US News Top 100 Jobs of 2018. The Bureau of Labor Statistics project that the growth rate of registered nurses would be 16% from 2014 to 2024, much higher than any other profession. Various nursing professions appear frequently in the top 100 highest paying salaries in, the, in Indiana. Nurses are the shoulder that patients and families cry on. We hold the hands of patients who are scared for their next procedure or the results of their tests and we are the ones who will sit and talk about the good old times when a patient simply needs someone to talk to. Why wouldn't I go all the way to become a doctor? It seems very obvious why becoming a nurse sounds much more appealing. Um, we all have reasons why we want to be nurses. Uh, I asked the class to provide a few examples of why they would like to be nurses, um, and here are some of these examples. My grandmother said I should be a nurse because of how good I was at caring for my younger brother. I saw the amazing care my grandfather received while he was in the hospital. The nurses not only cared for him, but the whole family and made us feel at ease. I hope to be that nurse for my future patients. I saw the amazing care my dad received while battling cancer. I want to be like them and make an impact on my patients like they did to mine. After attending the funeral for a young nine-year-old girl, I told myself I was not going to live my life without doing something to help children like her in the future, and that's why I'm becoming a nurse. Classmates, I would like to leave you with two wishes of mine. First, never forget why you decided to do this. There will be days where we are burnt out, emotionally drained, and feel like we just can't do it anymore. On days like these, I hope we reflect on our whys and keep pushing forward. Think about your grandmother's kind words of encouragement. Think about what an impact you are making on patients and families in their most vulnerable times. Think about that turning point in your life when you knew you were called into action. There are people that need us. Secondly, I hope you see yourself as life changers and not just life savers. I truly believe healthcare workers are meant to improve health and quality of life and not just here to delay death. My favorite quote said by medical doctor Patch Adams goes like this, you treat a disease, you win, you lose. You treat a person and I guarantee you, you will win no matter the outcome. We all know that sometimes things don't go as planned. Remember that we don't always have the answers. This is okay. As nurses, we have a wonderful opportunity to treat the person lying in the bed and not just a disease process. We have the chance to make that person smile, make them laugh, be with them when they cry, and fulfill the needs that a medication cannot fill. When providing care, let's not just treat a disease, let's treat people. Congratulations, classmates. We did it. Thank you, Tyler. Closing remarks and benediction will be given by the class parliamentarian, Tess Lemon. Hello. I'll try and keep this short and sweet so we can get out of here. <laughs> um, so as we wrap up this ceremony, I would like to again thank everyone here in attendance, our parents, grandparents, family, friends, and to the School of Nursing. I can confidently say if it wasn't for your unwavering support, love, and encouragement, 
none of us would probably be on this stage tonight. It has been a long journey here at Ball State for us, some of us three, four, or five years, five semesters of nursing school, over 945 <laughs> clinical hours, and don't even get me started on the amount of hours spent studying. So Paul writes in Colossians 3.23, whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart as working for the Lord and not for others. When things get tough, this verse has always been a gentle reminder for me to persevere and something I think that we can all take with us today as we become nurses. So in closing, I pray, reflect, and hope that we all go out into the world and work with all of our hearts, we, that we serve others well and offer a healing hand. And on the days when it's hard and we feel like we can't, that we will be reminded that we are working towards something bigger than us, because that's what nurses do. So go find your team and let's get to work. Thank you, Tess. Please join us in the lobby immediately following the ceremony to congratulate our new nurses. <coughs> I'm going to ask that the audience remain seated until the recessional is completed. I want everyone to have a great evening and drive safely. Thank you for coming. <coughs> Will the graduating class of May 2018 please stand? Thank you.